Hello YouTube, it's me, Short Jane Nature here, back with a brand new video. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new season challenge for Season 3 in Call of Duty Mobile. Uh, right now, this is the Overclock uh, challenge. If you want this perk in particular, what this perk does is increase your charging speed of the Opera skills. So if you're a person who is in rank or play, you know, just normal matches like non-rank, but you use your operator skill a lot or you get pissed off because your operator skill takes forever to charge up in matches this might be the perfect perk for you um but if you have a different perk that kind of helps you out maybe that's not the best one for you so it depends on your play style um this challenge is available right now it's going to be available until 28 days and we're going to go through the steps of the challenges that you need to complete to get certain rewards not only that you get that particular perk but you would get a skin for your og people like to call it i call it the og it reminds me of the og in modern warfare uh this is the burst stone skin this is going to be a rare weapon uh the, your damage and accuracy and all that stats that you see right here do not make a change like how it does in the legendary weapons or the epic weapons in call of duty mobile or the mythical ones so we're going to move on to the challenges that you need to complete to get that perk and that particular weapon skin for that weapon so the first thing first, you got to win three multiplayer matches. It doesn't matter what multiplayer matches it is. It could be team deathmatch, domination, kill confirm, or free for all, or even in the ranked matches. So long you play multiplayer uh, matches, you'll be fine. Battle Royale do not count. So if you're a Battle Royale player and you win a match in there, that would not count towards this challenge. That's something else completely different. As you can see, this is called the BR buff. I think this is mostly for like battle royale matches so that challenges might be good for you uh this one is completely different this is strictly multiplayer matches so keep that in mind moving off from that step once you complete that you need to kill 20 uh 20 enemies in multiplayer matches like i said it could be any activity and of course if you're a person who bought the battle pass your battle pass xps will go along up to help you kind of complete your battle pass completely fast and quick so keep that in mind once you complete that, use your operator skill 10 times in multiplayer matches. So whatever operator skill that is best for you, use that 10 times and you'll just get that over with. You don't have to win a match. You just need to use it 10 times in a match. Once you do that, you, the, your next reward will be your overclock perk and your battle pass XP jumps up to 3000. You got to kill 15 enemies with, with the operator skills in multiplayer matches win or lose so long you kill 15 enemies now keep this in mind i kind of noticed that when i play call of duty mobile if you do kill 15 enemies and you leave the match early 99 percent of the time it does not count so keep that in mind if you're playing multiplayer matches or rank match and you know you're in there with a bunch of sweats just stay in there just get your 15 kills with your operator skills and just go with the flow so do not leave the match so keep that in mind once you do that, you can move on to the next further step, which is kill 25 enemies with the overclock perk equipped in the matches. So make sure that perk is equipped in your perk slot when you're going into multiplayer matches. And look at that, the greater rewards that you can help boost up certain weapons, especially with the PP-19 as the weapon for season three. If you're still grinding out for camos, you get 25 xp cards for your weapons and then your battle pass xp jumps up to 4000 and the final step is the only step is that you got to win 10 multiplayer matches with the overclock perk equipped so you can get the birthstone uh skin and along with the battle pass of 5000 xp so that is it for the challenge to get the overclock perk available for you guys anybody can do this you don't have to buy the battle pass or anything like that this is available to anybody this season to really do to the challenge if you guys have any questions or any concerns about anything that was mentioned in this video let me know in the comment section down below and i'll try my best to answer the question for you in the meantime i will catch you guys in my next post